So this is the Mercury M1 Pro, an 88 gram magnesium alloy wireless gaming mouse from a company called Gravistar. And this is the Battleborn Silver Edition, but it also comes in gunmetal gray. And just a heads up, Gravistar sent us this mouse for a full review with zero expectations of a positive review. Just an honest review of their new gaming mouse. The Mercury M1 Pro has a uniquely innovative hollowed out design. The outer skeletal frame has a futuristic look, which reveals the inner part of the mouse. The RGB lighting has five different light modes and is controlled via the Gravistar software. And FYI, the Gravistar software is only available for Windows OS. So if you use Linux or Mac OS, well, you're out of luck. And to be honest, that's a little disappointing. So Gravistar, if you're watching this video, you need to add Linux and Mac OS to the software options. But one thing to note about this hollowed out design, even though it looks crazy and futuristic, it does serve a function. Because the hollowed out skeletal frame should allow for maximum airflow to keep your hand cool during long gaming sessions. So it looks cool and keeps your hand cool. The Mercury M1 Pro includes five programmable buttons. The switches are from a Japanese company called Amaron with a 50 million click lifespan. The scroll wheel is from a company called Kale with a 1 million rotation lifespan. The mouse sensor is the PAW3395DM, which is a pro gaming sensor. The resolution goes up to 26,000 DPI and 650 IPS, max speeds of 50G and a pulling rate of 4,000 Hertz or 0.25 milliseconds. So this mouse should be very responsive. The M1 Pro has a switch for three different modes, Bluetooth, wired and Wi-Fi. And the M1 Pro even includes this cool nest to store the wireless 1K dongle for travel, and it should keep you from losing it. To take advantage of all these cool features, you will need to download the Gravistar software. It's completely free. And speaking of free, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notifications. Thanks. So before we test the Mercury M1 Pro with Counter-Strike 2, what exactly comes in the box? Well, first you get the mouse, the 1K wireless dongle, the braided charging cord, stickers, pads, cleaning cloth, a detailed instruction manual, and the 4K wireless sensor. Let's go ahead and start with a quick sound test. The M1 Pro isn't noisy when moving the mouse on the pad. However, the buttons are very clicky, but that's kind of par for the course, especially with gaming mice. And to be honest, I like the clicky sounds anyways. The battery life for the M1 Pro will vary depending on which mode you use. Bluetooth with lights off is 200 hours. Wireless with the lights off is 146 hours. And of course, if you go wired, it's unlimited. With the RGB lights on, it will drain the batteries pretty fast. Now let's get to the gaming test and we're gonna test the M1 Pro with Counter-Strike 2. So before we start the test, let me show you my custom mouse settings. And I'm gonna use the 4K sensor for this test. And don't worry, I'll show you a 1K sensor test as well. So my DPI settings are 1600, and I have six different stages set, and the max DPI is 26,000. Our polling rate is at 4,000 Hertz. With high performance sensors, you get a lot of options. The first option is LOD, lift off distance, which refers to the point when you lift your gaming mouse and the sensor stops transmitting a signal to your computer and we'll set it at one millimeter and we'll set our peak performance at 30 seconds. And lastly, our ripple control and motion sync are both turned on. This will allow our mouse sensor to smooth out our movements. So guys, I wasn't sure what to expect when I was playing Counter-Strike with the M1 Pro, but I have to say it played very well. There are a few things I don't like about this mouse, but there are plenty of things I do love about it. So after playing Counter-Strike for about five or six hours, let's go through the pros and cons of the M1 Pro. The first thing I like about the M1 Pro, it's very comfortable. Fits well in the palm of my hand. They have a nice little contour for your finger, a little flare out, very nice. One of the downsides to this mouse is that it's heavy, totaling 88 grams. If you like a lighter mouse, consider the M2 Pro. It comes in at 79 grams. But one of the best things about this mouse, besides the comfort, is the response. Hyper responsive. With this high performance sensor in the middle of the mouse, it's very balanced and responds well. And with a polling rate of 4,000 Hertz, this mouse will play any game you throw at it. Counter-Strike 2, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto, whatever you're playing. But one of the biggest problems with this mouse is the software. It's only available for Windows OS, which leaves out Linux and Mac OS. And I really hope that Gravistar hears me on this and develops the Mac OS and Linux software versions. But the upside for the software, if you have Windows, is the software is very intuitive easy to use with lots of options. And the pro sensor options are incredible. From adjusting the LOD and ripple control, pretty amazing. And one of the great things about this mouse is the connectivity options. You have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 
and wired. If you want the lowest latency, then go with the wired option, but I found that the braided cord wasn't very comfortable with the wired option. But for testing purposes, I used the 4K sensor for the majority of the testing. And with these RGB lights on, it did drain the batteries pretty fast. And one more thing I love about this mouse is the sliders. Very smooth with low noise. And one more thing, if this mouse is too expensive for you at $130, well, the gunmetal gray version is $99. And to be honest, I think I like the gunmetal version better. It looks pretty sleek and clean. But this version right here goes well with Call of Duty or Fallout 4 or Counter-Strike. So guys, that's it. That's the Mercury M1 Pro review. It's a great little mouse. It's 130 bucks. It's a little bit heavy, but it's very responsive, low latency, super smooth, super comfortable, looks really sleek, and has lots of options. And of course, there'll be links in the description below to where you can buy this. And once again, I'm Mike, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.